I am Dele Agadumo. Special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on political, legislative, and civic engagement, Afolabi Tajuddin, has announced that the Governor Sawolu administration is fully committed to ensuring that every resident feels supported and valued regardless of the difficulties they face. Tajuddin stated this at the presentation of checks to another set of over 100 beneficiaries of the financial assistance program. He reaffirmed Governor Babajije Sawolu's commit commitment to addressing the needs of Lagosians amid the ongoing economic challenges. The Lagos State Office of Education Quality Assurance has emphasized on the need to deepen the leadership skills and enhance the capabilities of directors, particularly in the area of monitoring and evaluation, data management, and new trends in education quality assurance. Director of Planning, Research, and Statistics Department, Office of Education Quality Assurance, Remy Abdul, Stated this at uh, the 4D capacity enhancement program for education evaluators in Lagos. Abdul underscored the significance of the training program targeted at evaluators at directorate level. He acknowledged the interest of Governor Bajide Sangolo in the capacity enhancement of education, education evaluators in line with the third pillar of his Themes Plus agenda, which is education and technology. Abdul said the training program was designed to equip education leaders with the latest tools and knowledge necessary to excel in their roles. The presidency, alongside the legislative arm of government, has continued to push for establishment of a new ministry, agency and commission months after President Bolatinobo called for the full implementation of the Stephen Orosaye report. According to the Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Onunuga, 12 years after the Steve Orosaye panel submitted its report on restructuring and rationalizing federal government parastatals and agencies, and a white paper issued two years after, President Tinubu and the Federal Executive Council has decided to implement the report. Ononaga said many agencies will be scrapped and many others will be merged to pave way for, to a leaner government. President Bola Tinubu has assured that his administration is working hard to improve the lives of people and urged Nigerians to suspend the NVAD governance protest and embrace dialogue. Tinubu stated this during the nationwide broadcast. This is just as the president stated that the reforms undertaken by his administration will soon yield results that will be visible and concrete for people to see, feel, and enjoy. Tinubu enjoined the protesters and organizers to suspend any further protest and create room for dialogue. Tinubu assured Nigerians that his administration is focused on good governance despite the socio-economic challenges confronting Africa's most populous nation. Tinubu also expressed pain over the loss of lives and property in some states during the nationwide protest, saying the destruction of public and private assets sets the nation back as scarce resources will be again used to restore them. He also commiserated with the families and relations of those who died in the protest. Now to foreign news. The United States has urged its citizens to leave Lebanon on any ticket available as fears grow that war in the Middle East may spread. The United Kingdom, Sweden, France, Canada and Jordan have also issued a similar warning. Iran has vowed severe retaliation against Israel, which it blames for the death of Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. Haniyeh's assassination came hours after Israel killed Hezbollah commander Fouad Shakur in Beirut. It is feared that Lebanon-based Hezbollah, an Iran-backed group, could play a heavy role in any such retaliation, which in turn could spark a serious Israeli response. Now, sport South Sudan has lost to Serbia 96 to 85 in the third Group B match to end their campaign at the Paris 2024 men's basketball event. 
The East Africans began their Olympic campaign with a stunning victory against Puerto Rico in the first match, but lost their following matches to the United States of America and Serbia to crash out from the tournament. Serbia's Bogdan Bogdanovic led the game in scoring with 30 points on 10-4-14 shooting, making six three-pointers in nine attempts. Bogdanovic also added eight assists to his account. And that ends on user one, just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections, and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Snow World Administration initiated 500 hectares rice farm technology intervention project? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshi. I am Dili Agaduma. Good afternoon. Thank you for listening.